Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Corbin Radio. Today is a beautiful Wednesday. I'm getting my pick, my uh, predictions done early today. Vikings, all my Vikings fans there. How you guys doing? It's a beautiful Wednesday to be alive, to be well, to be just doing an amazing, productive, and just move forward in the, in, into the future and into life. And speaking of moving forward into the future and trying to win games, or in Minnesota Vikings, we host, we don't host. The Bears host us in Chicago. It's going to be a tough, tough battle in this game. It truly is. It's going to be a very tough battle. We both come off big, huge wins, both scoring at least 30, 30 so points. You know, the Bears scored 31, we scored 34. And I guess our opponents, they're okay, you know, the, the Bears played against. Case Kim, I thought Case Kim would know for all the for all the couple of years he played for the Vikings. <laughs> I guess the Bears, yeah, I guess he wouldn't know, but I guess not. They get 15 points, and then when we play the Raiders, they got 14. So we both kind of like the same in scoring points. So and we're both coming in the same record, and I and I'm gonna say this right here. I know a lot of them. A lot of the coat, a lot of the people and the analysts, like my, my uh, Florio from Pro Football Talk, he loves Vikings. He said, Kirk Cousins cannot handle really in big game pressures. And the Ravens in the big game, they didn't really pressure as much. Yeah, yeah, they got, they got to him, whatever. That was an easy one. When it comes to big games, he's not, he can't. It's hard for him to be under pressure, or it's hard for him to try to win big games and big moments. So, you know, get the Packers. They game the Packers play the Philadelphia Eagles tomorrow. So, that's going to be a big one. The Packers are undefeated. So, Bears and Vikings are 2-2. Two and two. Or no, 2-1. and one, I mean, sorry about that. 2-1 and one each. And the, actually, the Lions are undefeated as well. They haven't lost the game yet. The last thing... Because they tied the game, so it doesn't count a loss man. that. just counts as a tie. You know, they could have defeated the Cardinals. The Cardinals were easy, easy, slim pickings at that. If they would have beat the Cardinals, it would have been 3 0. Things are out there. But, anyways, back to our game. I think I just I just hope that Kirk Cousins can play under this hard pressure, under Coleo Mack, and the Bears defense. They have a decent, decent defense that they can get to us, and so, so do we. We have great defense too. And Kirk Cousins and the old line. If the old line if the old line can help Delvin Cook all day, you know, I was in the mess and all day, whatever have you. But they can help Kirk Cousins without getting sacked. We're toast, man. And if we can have our old line step up, protect cousins as they protect Delvin Cook and Alexander the mess and whoever else, CJ Ham, whatever. And they can protect cousins, I think we have a great team. It's just our old line, you know. Our old line can help Delvin Cook get touchdowns for days, but if our old line can't do it for Cousins, if they can, if we can have the best old line we have, we will be probably one of the best or the best football teams in the NFL. I'm just throwing that out there, you know. This is our old line to help Kirk Cousins. And Kirk Cousins needs to step up his place. Yeah, he can throw some good balls for days. But if our O-line can help him out, and he and and he can step up in big games, shoot, we'd be great, man. <laughs> you know, because the Packers are looking good. Okay, and the Packers. What about the cars? I want to walk. The Packers are looking good. So if we can step up our game and be other contenders against the Packers. I want us to win. I want us to win the, the the NFC North Division. I want us to. You know, and head to the playoffs this year. I want us to do that. If not, then I'm assuming I think next year might might do it. Next year could do it if our old line can help Kirk Cousins out without getting hit much and protecting us and throwing good balls. Be on target, accuracy, all that would be great. And Mr. Trubisky looks good. You guys saw the game. The Monday game, I saw a little bit of it. But Mitchell Trubisky did look good. And 
it's going to be a tough battle. It truly is. At the end of the day, obviously we're going to come out with the win. I hope. I hope. But Myers will come out with the win if he can just be it like it. And then don't make those. And I don't want to see not a lot of flag calls. We'll get over all these flags. And I want to see us not throw bad throws. I don't see what Cousin did. You know, right there almost close to the goal line. Deep, deep, deep corner end zone. Double man coverage getting picked off. I don't I don't want to see that, you know? So if we can let let that go and all the all the um all the flags, I think we would be solid against the Bears. So that's my take on it. Take or leave it. Take it or leave it. Um, but at the end of the day, like I said, we call it this win. It's going to be a semi back for I think our defense, we're going to do what our defense did against the Packers. Just take over. You know, like we did with like the first, like this, like, like for the rest of the game. So the first couple, you know, when they got 21 0, they got 21 0. Our defense kind of just took over. So our defense take over, and we did not throw bad throws and not throw horrible throws like we did at that double man covered in the corner of the end zone. And all these flag calls and offensive pass interference and defensive pass interference, all these other calls. We'll be solid against the Bears, but it's only a matter of time if, if it really does happen. And I just hope if we hope we can win this game. It's a, it's a later game, not the morning game. It's the afternoon game, so it's just good. But it's just tough. It's, it's, gonna be, it's like it's, it's gonna be tough. And I agree with Mike Foley says he cannot. You have to win these big games under pressure. You know they'll be throwing away crappy balls. They'll be doing this on the third. Yeah, and he finally scrambled against the Raiders. He finally ran, scrambled the ball. But do I think Kirk is a scrambler? Yes, and no, I don't think he's the greatest scrambler. You know, I thought it was a good scrambler. I thought uh, Case Keenum was a great scrambler. Throwing the run. You know, I thought Teddy Bridgewater was great, too. If we would have had Teddy Bridgewater back, I'd miss that guy. He balled. They beat the Seahawks. So, but, yeah. It's really going to be that one. It's an, is it going to be tough? Yes. Is it going to be close? It's going to be a close battle, for sure. But, I just... I don't know what's going to happen. So leave down the comments down below what you guys think how we're going to do. Like I said, it's going to be the Packers game. We're gonna, it's going to be close. Either they're going to get off to a hot start, or we're going to get off to a hot start. Or vice versa, or not really much hot starts for any of us. But our defense are going to look great on both sides. From the Bears and the Vikings. You know? Or maybe our running game will get off to a hot start, and then... The rest is history, because we know we have a great running back. And I know we have a good backup, too. Alexander Madison, there's no... We have no bad... And I think, think C.J. Ham is great, so... You know, C.J. Ham, but I don't know who's going to take over for the part, uh, for the kick returns, punt returns, whatever. For Chad Beebe, don't know. If you watch the Purple, Purple Podcast, Purple FTW Podcast, he was saying that we think we should re resign Treadwell. Whatever, I don't care, but just, can I play the Madden mobile on my phone, right? And on the game, they haven't really updated it because they have Brandon Zostra on there. And and then they have for the returning, or kickoffs and returns, Amir Abdullah. Could Amir Abdullah just do take over Chad Beebe's spot? I don't know. I don't think Chad Beebe's in, even in Madden mobile, which he should be. Or maybe I'm wrong. But I play the game. I'm playing the game right now. It didn't look like he's on the Madden Mobile. They have Amir Abdullah returning the balls in the Madden Mobile video game. Or, or mobile game. I don't know, it could be the same in the video game or not, but... Anyways, let me know what you guys think, Vikings fans. We're going to get the win. I'm going to say predict the games. I don't know the score's going to be. Is it going to be like in the 30s? Maybe, maybe not. It might be in the 20s. I think it might be the Packers game. Probably like in the 20s to the 10s. Between who's going to win it or not. I think it's going to be that. 
I think it's gonna be in between that. I don't think it's gonna go higher than that. Maybe the maybe it might be. Brakes take off, and then we come back and fire back, and it's the highest growing. I don't know. But at the end of the day, if I have to choose, I think it's gonna be like in the tens and twenties for either side. But I know we're gonna come out victorious, like we always should do. We're gonna be three and one. We're gonna make the Bears two and two. So I'm at the bottom in the fourth. We'll be still in third. And we're going to try to compete. We're on, on the tr I want to try to leave the Bears out of this picture as much as possible. And focus on the Lions and Packers right now. Because those are two teams that are hot in our division. And I just got to say this. Everybody in our division. Packers, Lions, Bears, us. We all won our games this week. Or, yeah, week three. But the ones coming up is in four days. But all of us won our games this week. Coming out hot, we're looking strong. All the teams are looking strong. So, like I said, it's gonna be a battle. If all of our teams won this week. We're all looking strong. It's gonna, like I said, it's gonna be a battle for all the teams. I know the Eagles came off a horrific loss, three-point loss against the Eagles. I mean, we know the Eagles came off three-point, yeah, three-point loss against the Lions. So, like I said, the Eagle, the I hope the Eagles beat the freaking Packers tomorrow, and I hope. Hope we come out strong. So, in this one, so I want the Packers to lose, and whoever the Lions, are, whoever the Lions are playing, hope they lose, and hope we beat the Bears so we can look strong. I want us to look strong coming off Week Four in this big matchup. And it's away. We had two easy, two easy games: Falcons, Raiders, at home. And then we had two toughest games on the road with the Packers, which we lost, and now the Bears. So it's gonna be a tough battle between all the teams. So thank you guys for watching. Like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe for more. Let me know what you guys think. Skull bikes. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of your uh, Wednesday. Enjoy the game tomorrow. If you, I know you guys, I know all of you guys are watch the pack. I'm about to watch it because my brother's an Eagles fan. And I just like to watch the Eagles for a little bit. My brother is a diehard Eagles fan, so I like to check it out. But at the end of the day, hope, hope Packers go kick rocks, Lions go kick rocks. Bears go kick rocks because we're gonna we're, we're coming for you. I, I, I want us to win the NFC no NFC North division. I truly do, and I want us to make try to make playoffs at least first round somewhere so we can get something. So that's just me. Okay, we'll see what happens. But I want us to win the division, and I want us to look strong. That's just me. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video. We, we look like a great team. Let's keep it that way. You know, we come like, like we. I hope it's not a recurring thing. Come for a big win, like we did. Come for a big win against Atlanta. We came into the Packers game, crap in the bed. We come for a big win against the Raiders, and then I hope we don't do the same thing against the Bears, crap the bed. You know, so let's keep our momentum high. Keep going, baby. Let's go, bikes, and I'll see you later. Bye, y'all.